Now we have the content on, on our Earth page, I think it's time that we created our quiz. So again, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and click Add New Item. This one is going to be called um, Quiz. And in the text, let's put Test Your uh, Knowledge. So we have that. Um, I've got an image already saved, so I'm going to browse to it and select this image here. And we need to make sure that our, the action associated with that takes us back to a standard screen, which it does. So let's click Save. And there we go. So let's double click on the quiz. And we've got a blank page here. Now I'm going to give this screen a name. I click Edit and just call it Earth Quiz. Click Save and it appears at the top of the page. So let's just add one question for this example, shall we? So if I click um, Add Text, and we can, we can give it a test. So let's just say, what is another name for Earth? Click Save. Now we have our question, we need to um, give the user some possible responses, so some possible answers. So to do that, I'm going to click radio down here, we'll put a little radio button in. And I'm going to call the radio button, this is going to be one of the responses, just something fun, um, that round thing. There we go, that'll do. Now the name, this is going to be um, a variable name, and we'll go through a little bit more about what variables are in class. But essentially, every single one of the possible responses needs to have the same name, okay? So the same variable name. And we're just going to call it Earth Name. The value, again, that can be that round thing. And we are good. Now, default value means that, um, if I click that, it means whenever the user comes to this question, it will always have this as the default value. So I'm just going to put that in, and I'm going to click Save. Let's go for the next question, so radio button again, and I'm going to call this Terra. Again, name, that's a variable name, so it's called Earth Name, and the value is Terra. Keep that default value clicked off, Save. Let's just do one more, shall we? And I'm going to call this the globe. Name, valuable name, earth, name. And this one is going to be called the globe. Save. So here we go. So here is a question. What is another name for earth? And we've got some possible responses here. That round thing, terror and the globe. Next thing to do is to add a submit button. So under forms, I can click submit here and we can give that a label. So let's just call it submit answer. There we go. So here's our question. We kept it very simple for the time being. Now on this button here, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to write some code that sits behind that button that will then work out whether or not the, the user has submitted the correct answer.